What's up guys, in this video we're going to be going over variables and how you can use them in your own Roblox Studio game. In order to start scripting our variables, we first need a script to script inside of. So I'm going to go over to server script service right here, click on the plus icon to the right of that, and then add in a script. Now we've got our script in here, I'm going to delete the print hello world, and let's get scripting our variable. So first of all, before we actually script a variable, we must ask the question, what is a variable? A variable is simply a container for storing data. This data can be anything from numbers to text to even true and false values. Variables can be incredibly useful in your own Roblox games as they allow you to store and manipulate data dynamically. So let's get started with some basic examples pretty much. What I'm going to do here is use the local keyword followed by a variable name to create a variable. Something like this is the local keyword and then we need the variable name following that. So I'm going to see my variable and now we need a value for this. So this will be equal to 10. So here we've created a variable called my variable and so Set value to 10. You can change the value of this variable at any time, just like this, by saying my variable now equals to something like 20. Now, another cool thing you can do with variables is that you can actually use them in math equation. So, say I had my variable equals to 10, I can add another variable called my other variable, just like this, and this will be equal to 5. Now we can create a result variable, which will basically grab our two other variables and combine them. Result will be equal to my variable plus my other variable. So now if we were to run this function with a print statement, just like this, printing a result, this would print 15 just because my variable is 10 and my other variable is 5. Now you're not limited to just plus signs in this. You can also use an asterisk if you would like to multiply. You can use a slash if you would like to divide. And you can use a minus if you would like to subtract. But variables aren't just limited to numbers. You can also use them to store text just like this. We can say local my variable once again, because I accidentally just deleted the other one, will be equal to quotation mark hello world. This is a string variable. It's called a string variable because we set its value to a string of text. We can also manipulate text variables using string functions like string.sub, which you can run in a print section just like this, or use print string dot sub and then my variable inside of here so string dot len will basically turn this variable right here into the number of numbers that equal to its letters so hello world exclamation point has 12 characters in it so if i were to run this it would print 12. so now if we were to change string dot len to string dot sub here we can add another argument after the my variable inside of here so we can put a comma and then something like three now if we were to run this you can see this is now low world because it starts the variable on the third character because we put the three here now if you were to change something like this to six or seven whatever it'd just be world or world so you can mess around with this pretty fun things to do anyways another useful feature of variables is that they can be used to store references to other objects in your game for example if you have a part which I'm going to add right now by exiting out of the script and then going to the home tab and then clicking on the part button right here just like that we can move this around and I'll close the output for now now we can double click on our script and server script service to go right back into it so let's create another variable for our part this will be equal to my part so local my part will be equal to workspace dot my part so now we've got my part linking to the part that we have in workspace which I named to my part we can change the properties of this part through our script now that we have a variable link to it so if I wanted to change its color, I could say my part dot brick color equals to something like brick color dot red. Variables make it super easy to reference your parts and then change the properties of them later. And now finally, I think it's worth mentioning that there are two types of variables in LUA, local variables and global variables. Best way I can explain this is imagine you have a toy box. Inside the toy box, you have different types of toys, like a toy car or a teddy bear, something like that. Each toy is like a variable because it's something you can play with and change around. A local variable is like a toy that you can only play with in your room. You can't take it outside of your room to play with and your brother or sister can't play with it unless they come into your room. It's your own private toy. Now a global variable is like a toy that you can play with anywhere in the house. You can take it from your room to the living room or even outside to play with. And your brother and sister can play with it too because it's not just yours, it belongs to everyone in the house. So in programming, a local variable is like a toy that you can only 
only play with in a certain part of the code, like a function or a loop, and a global variable is like a toy you can use anywhere in your code, even outside of a function or a loop. To explain this, I'm going to make a quick function right here. Function, my function, just like this. And now we can create a local variable inside of here. I'm going to say local my variable will be equal to 10. Now we can print my variable just like this. Now say outside of this function, we were to run my function just like this. But if we tried printing my variable outside of here where it's not called, you can see already that that's an error ready to happen. So basically, in this code, my variable is a local variable that is defined inside the my function function. The print statement inside the function right here will output 10 because my variable is equals to 10. And because this variable is defined and declared inside of this function. However, the print statement outside of this function, which is this one, will generate an error just because my variable is not defined in the global scope. So now if I were to change this around by going up here and saying my variable equals to 10 and get rid of this local variable right here, as you can see, there are no more errors in here anymore because in this code, my global variable is a global variable that is defined outside of any block of code. So in this code, my variable is a global variable that is defined outside of any block of code. The print statement inside the my function right here and the print statement outside of the function right here will both output 10 because my variable is defined globally and can be accessed from anywhere in the code. Anyways guys, I think that's going to wrap up this tutorial for today. I'm going to go ahead and print the outro right here and run this script. As you can see, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below.